The following program may contain coarse language, violence, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. I am Bert the Bandit. I've arrived here in Suno to collect my reward for my, um, for the mission I did for this guildmaster here. Good day, Bert the Bandit. A lot of experience for that. Bert the Bandit, it was an incredible feat to get the Kurgat Khanate and the Kingdom of Swedia to make peace. And you made it happen. Your involvement has not only saved our town from disaster, but it has also saved thousands of lives and put an end to all the grief and this bitter war has caused. As the townspeople of Suno know, that we'll be good on our word, and we are ready to pay 12,000 dinars as we promised. Now, I could refuse the payment and go up... 10 in relation, or I could accept the payment and go up 5. I'm going to take the money. I need it. Let me take the money. Oh yes, of course. We've already got the money for you. Here, please accept these 12,000 dinars, together with our most sincere thanks. Me and the people of our town will not forget your help. Well, in that case, can I buy land for a productive enterprise? Very good, sir. We in the guild know and trust you. And I think I could find someone to sell you the land you need. Uh, die works? No. I wouldn't. I'd lose money on that. No. Iron works? 250. Oil? No. Wine? No. Tannery? Yeah. Brewery? No. Mill? No. Weavery? No. Other weavery? No. Okay, ironworks it is. And I have almost enough for two more dye works in some other towns. It's good. We're moving along. Anyway, I guess I'll cut away now and um, come back a bit later. See you then. Okay, we're back. I asked Count Devlian if he had any tasks for me. This is his answer. This piece with the Saranid Sultanate, ill suits me, Bert the Bandit. We've let those swine have their way for far too long. Now, they get stronger with each passing, and their arrogance knows no bounds. I say, we must wage war on them before it's too late. Unfortunately, some of the bleeding hearts among our realms, lords are blocking a possible declaration of war. Witless cowards with no stomach for blood. You are right, sir. But what can we do? Ah, it is good to hear someone who understands. As a matter of fact, there is something we can do, Bert the Bandit. A little bit of provocation. If one of our war parties managed to enter their territory and pillage one of their caravans or raid one of their villages and perhaps left behind a little token or two of the Kingdom of Swedia, they would have ample cause to declare war on us. And then, well, even the cowards among us must defend themselves. So, what do you say? Are you interested? An excellent plan. Count me in. Very good. A raid on a caravan. Or, if you can manage that, 
an attack on one of their villages should do the trick. Now, good luck and good hunting. Go set the borders aflame. Not a problem. I am not yet affiliated with a faction as yet. But first, there's a tournament in Uxcal, and uh, I think I'll go join that. Might as well buy all the grain I can and sell it for a good profit. That'd be the way to go. Now, guess I'll cut away now and come back a bit later. See you then. As I approach Uxcal, Katrin has something to say. I see the mountains. You must be getting near home. Tell me more. I'm from Uxcal. You know the saying, sir? Barley grown in Uxcal is made into ale in Praven, and we're all the better for it. Not sure what that means, sir, but it's true about the barley, and wheat, and oats. We grow more grain here, in the Vale of Uxcal, than all the rest of Caradia put together. And our ale is the best, too. You can see it in the soil here, rich and black and smells of good harvest and full bellies. The Swadian king will tell you that Praven was the biggest city in Calradia back under the empire, and that's why he should rule the whole land today. Mind you, I don't care much about politics, sir. I've sold provisions to every army that marched in Calradia, and I tell you that I wouldn't give a single one of them a single biscuit unless I had the cold, hard dinars in my hand first. Why these high and mighty kings and nobles can't pay the bills, I'll never know. But I prattle on a bit. There, don't I? And I'm escorting this lady here. Thank you for escorting me here, Bert the Bandit. Please accept this gift as a token of my gratitude. I hope we shall meet again sometime in the future. It was an honour to serve, madam. Now to sell all this grain. I'll probably collect more on my way back. So a little bread too. Small profit. I need to buy a productive enterprise. I keep forgetting to do that. We'll take a look in the tavern first. No prisoners. I try not to upgrade the slave crushers into slaver chiefs because they have no pathfinding. I try to leave them slave crushers if I can help it. Now. Anyone up here? Doesn't look that way, but never hurts to check. Nope. Let's take a walk around the streets. Maybe I can buy a productive enterprise here. Profit of 500. Sounds worth it. Here's the money. Now let's join this tournament. Earn a little more money. Well, the first round went all right.
down they go. Ha! That was a good hit. And the down. All right, last round. dedicate my success in the tournament to you. Well, time to find another place to buy another enterprise. And also um, deliver a message and give provocation to you another kingdom. Anyway, cut away here and uh, come back a bit later. See you then. Okay, it would seem Rolf has something to tell me. The woods of it. <clears throat> the woods of Elodar. Bah, this place is thick with bandits and outlaws. Tell me more. Well, you see, the Sw King of Swadia declared this to be his personal hunting preserve and said he'd kill any man who as much as strung his bow here. So what happens? Some family goes hungry and succumbs to the temptations to poach. And the King's Sheriff comes along, strings him up, takes his land. His sons, rather than starve, go bandit. And so naturally, anyone in the whole valley who feels the need to run away from a debt or a nagging wife or a vengeful noble comes here to join them. Living on wild pig and berries and the pursuit of unwary travellers. How do I know this, you ask? Well, I was taken by them. Held for ransom, but I got away. That's really all there is to tell. Well, what do you know? A serenade caravan. Just what I was looking for. Hail, friend. You are trespassing in the territory of the Kingdom of Swadia. I'm confiscating this caravan and all its goods. What? What nonsense is this? We are at peace with the Kingdom of Swadia and are free to cross its lands. We'll see about that. Defend yourselves. Now I could leave, but... Eh, 
Why not raid it? Damn you. Yeah, hold here for now. All right, charge. We finally got around to doing a little banditry in exchange for a lord's uh, wealth, of course. No reason to get our hands dirty without being paid. I like to let them heal up, sell the healthy ones. Captain, Catherine needs to have her tongue cut out. When the loot was piled up after the last battle, I found among the enemy's bags a very decent cooking pot. Often I had wished to find such a pot, so I could boil some of the stew that my people used to warm their bellies during the winter months. But Catherine grabs the pot and tells me that I will not be allowed to taint it with heathen food that it should properly belong to her. I yielded the pot to her, but I will not tolerate such disrespect in the future. Eh, don't pick any farts with her, please. Eh. Well, I'll go find that nobleman I took the quest from and uh, come back a bit later. See you then. Hello again. We're back at Uxcal. I refought the tournament so I could get into the uh, castle here. <coughs> <coughs> the give pro kingdom provocation to attack another was given by Count Devlin. There he is. We meet again, but the bandit. 500 dinars? Alright. And a bit of relation with him. Brilliant work, Bert. Whatever you did, the nobles of the Saranid Sultanate are clamouring for war. Soon the time will come for us to reap the benefits of our hard work. From fields ripe for plunder, the war is going to make us rich, mark my words. Indeed. Almost beg my leave. Now I need to track down Dundashnoyan. Nadia Castle. Alright. Maybe I'll take a mission from Delinar to hunt down some bandits. If he has one. And this is his hall, so I'll get a little relation for talking to him. Uh, do I want to be a mercenary? Eh, yeah, not interested. Thank you.
My brother, Count Grainward, has been taken prisoner by Jarl Turriger in the Kingdom of Nort. Normally, honourable nobles will grant the person of gentle birth. He wants me to rescue him. In exchange, he'll give me 5,000 dinars. I can try. I think I'll uh, break him out of prison. Enough planning. Time to act. Okay. So I'm going to try and break a nobleman out of prison. Anyway, I guess I'll cut away now and come back a bit later. See you then. Alright, I've found Ferentis here in a tavern. Near a tear. I am lost. Lost. What's so gloomy, friend? I've committed the greatest sin, sir. It is to my shame that I must appoint you my confessor. If you should like to hear it. I was a captain of horse in the service of the Lord here in Tyr. And my brother served with me, but we were both in love with the same woman. A courtesan. A temptress who played upon our jealousies. My brother and I quarrelled. I drank too much. He slapped me with his glove and I spit him upon my sword. My own brother. My sword arm was stained with the blood of my kin. Do you believe there is hope for a man like me? Can I find the path to righteousness or am I doomed to follow the demons that dwell inside me? Oh, you could join us, right wrongs, fight oppressors, redeem yourself, you know, that kind of thing. Yes, you must have been sent by divine providence. Let me, lead me away from darkness. Oh, I'm the perfect man for that. I am well practiced in the art of war. But I beg you, sir, I wish to use my skill to defend the innocent, the pure, and the defenceless, not to be a common brigand and wreak more misery than I have already wrought. Happy to be of service. Get your things together and we'll be on our way. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. Probably not the best place for him, but I need more cannon fodder. Now I found out the Lord that I'm supposed to rescue is over here in Chalbeck Castle. Hopefully I am good enough now to rescue him. Though there is the very real possibility that I am not. So let's find out. Ah, Nord Archers. I suppose I'll save here. Can you ride? So you can. Wouldn't be much of a master of horse if he couldn't, I suppose.
All right. Chelbeck Castle it is. Go to the courtyard. Let's see what all be up against. Oh, I think I can do this. There's the prison guard. We go up the stairs, I think. Or maybe inside that tower. Mm. Stairs, then tower. Yes, what do you want? I want to speak with a prisoner. You need permission from the Lord to talk to prisoners. Come on, I thought you were the boss here. <laughs> you got that right still? Can't let you into the prison. Give me the keys to the cell. Now. Hey, prison break! There we go. How do I talk to him? I... Uh. There we go. <laughs> uh, what's going on? I've come to get you out. Thank the heavens. I don't know how long I could have lasted in here. But wait, how will we escape? We'll be rushed by the garrison the moment we step out the door. I can help you hold them off, but... I'll tell you now, they've fed me nothing but watery porridge and a few scraps. I'm not as strong as I could be. Yeah, grab a weapon and help, despite your weakness. Let's go. Don't bloody stab me in the back. Follow me. That's it. We'll go over here. Go inside the tower, get out of the range of their archers. be safe up here after I've dealt with this hold here hmm. what should I increase Weapon master, power draw. Hmm. Why not? Come on, you.
and this one. All right, come on. <laughs> Smarter than you look, are you? And that's the last of them. I'm in your debt for freeing me, friend. You can go where you like. Thank you, good sir. I never forget someone who's done me a good turn. Now that that's done. Fair amount of renown. Yet strangely, no one's asked me to join them yet. Then again, I haven't talked to too many kings. Oh well. Anyway, guess I'll cut away now and uh, come back a bit later. See you then. Okay, we're back. After the prison break, I captured the Nord archers that were nearby. Well, some of them. Others are killed. Anyway, there's a Ramoon, there's Ramoon, the slave trader here. Hello, Bert the Bandit. Can you tell me about capturing prisoners? All right, I'll try to explain it again in simple terms. The basic rule of taking prisoners is knocking him down with a blunt weapon like a mace or a club, rather than cutting him open with a sword. That way he goes to sleep for a little while, rather than bleeding to death, you see. It's a bit different for nobles and such. They tend to be protected enough that it won't matter what kind of weapon you use. But your average rabble-rouser will bleed like a stuck pig if you get him with something sharp. All right, I think I understand. Anything else? Well, it's not uh, as all, it's not as simple as all that. Blunt weapons don't do as much damage as sharp ones, so they won't bring your enemies down as quickly. And trust me, given the chance, most of the scum you run across would just as soon kill you as look at you. So don't expect any courtesy when you pull out that club instead of a sword. Moreover, having to drag prisoners to and fro will slow down your party, which is why some people simply set their prisoners free after the fighting's done. It's madness. How could anyone turn down all that silver, eh? Is that everything? Just one final thing. Managing prisoners safely is not an easy thing to do. You could call it a skill in itself. If you want to capture a lot of prisoners, you should try and learn the trick of it yourself. Or you won't be able to hang on to a single man you catch. Thanks, or keep it in mind. Anything else? I'll have a few prisoners for you. Now I could sell more for a, at a ransom broker, but I don't care. I'll probably capture some forest bandits down the road. Any tournaments, I wonder? Sargoth. I may go to Sargoth. But first... Let's see if I can buy a productive enterprise. It is entirely possible the lord of this particular community does not care for me very much. Buy land, they trust me. Silk, yeah, 500 profits, decent. Here you go. Well, I'll cut away and come back at Sargoth. See you later. Well, I'm here at Sargoth, and wouldn't you know it, there's a ransom broker over there. 
Oh well. Or fight in the tournament. Earn a little extra money. And be on my way. There we go. Come on. There we go. After this, it's you and me, veteran fighter. Unless these two are tougher than they look. Well, that one was. And I'm a champion. Again. There you are, my lady. Now. King Ragnar. It was a nice tournament. Ravidian. I won't go there, but I'll cut away now and come back a bit later. See you then. Okay, I found Delinard. Get 1500 dinars. Lord of relation with the count. Bert the bandit, you saved him. Thank you ever so much for rescuing my brother. Take this as a small repayment for your noble deed. Always an honour to serve. Any other tasks? Yes, there is something you can do for us. We have heard reports that a group of forest bandits have established a hideout in this area and have been attacking travellers. If you could find their lair and destroy it, we would be most grateful. Bandits such as these would usually set up their encampment deep in the woods. Sometimes in the middle of a swamp. The best way to discover its location would be to find a group of forest bandits who appear to be heading back to their base to resupply and follow them. Oi, we'll do that. Very good. We will await word of your success. Well, I guess I'll cut away here and uh, come back when I've found the bandit lair in question. See you then. Okay, as I'm approaching Suno, Ferentis has something to say. 
I can see by the vines and terraces on the hillside that I am near home. I have no wish to see my family, so I will linger outside the walls if you go into town. I am sure that you will understand. Tell me more. Here, in the Vale of Suno, our dialect and customs are closer than anywhere else in Caradia to those of the old Karad Empire. We grow olives and wine, both crops brought to this land from overseas by the emperors, and also follow the old Karadic ways. We keep our pledges and pay our debts. We men of Suno also never forget an insult and avenge any wrong done unto us. Old-fashioned Karadic honour I dare say, has brought me to my current fallen state. I dare say. But despite that, I am proud to be of this region. Our lord is a vassal of the Swadian king in Praven, but as far as we are concerned, he is just another barbarian chieftain, and we are the empire's true heirs. Well, that's all good, I suppose. Bought a lot of olives in Uxcal for a cheaper price. Bought a bandit on the way here. Perfect, Ransom Broker. Here you are. <clears throat> now to go find that bandit lair. There it is. All right, let's go hunting. You men, follow me. More snow falling off the roof. I think once I turn in the mission to the... Uh, that Lord Delanard fellow... Uh, I think I'll end the video. It's probably been going too, on too long as it is. I might be the last one standing.
Oh, piss on there. They're charging, killing. Good old fashioned way. Gonna need better equipment soon. over there. Thought he was. Maybe I just saw a corpse. Well, someone's up here. I know that. Tell me that is the last one. <laughs> ah, perfect. That took a while. Well, I'll cut away now and come back when I find Denonard. See you in a moment. Okay. We're here at Nidar Castle where Count Delanard is. Good to see you again, Bert the Bandit. Splendid work. The audacious attack is the talk of the realm. No doubt they or others like them will soon be back, but for a short while. You have bought this small land a small respite. We are most grateful to you. I must beg my leave. And I think I'll end it off here. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed this little video. Please like, comment, subscribe, 
and I will see you next time. See you then.